Hey guys, welcome back to Hypertura. I've got my super loot for what I believe is February here. It's a little bit late in the month, I think, it, but it's not the last box, I think, for February. I think I'm still missing the uh, kind of arcade slash gamer box. Um, and this box has been a little bit bashed up, I think, in the postal service. Um, this one comes by my Hermes, so uh, not Royal Mail, this one. Uh, but let's open it up and see what we have inside. So. Looks like they're using some different tabs this time around. So, looks full as usual. Um, a reasonable amount of stuff in there. I think the t-shirt's been packed, packaged a little bit differently to them all. Um, so I'll do that first because it's on the top there. There's a few items in here as well. Um, but yeah, let's open the t-shirt up and see what we've got in here. So it looks, uh, considering it's one of the UK boxes, which are a little bit cheaper, it looks like a really nice quality t-shirt um, here actually. So we've got, what, a face hug <laughs> as seen on TV. Um, face hugger removal kit. That's pretty cool. So, uh, aliens based uh, item for the face huggers there. A little bit of crease in there, but that's a really nice t shirt. I love aliens. Um, that's pretty funky. I'm loving that as a t shirt. Um, definitely something I'd want to wear um, compared to some of the t shirts I do get through. That's really nice. What do we got? We have a uh, Pac Man keychain with authentic Pac Man sounds here. So I'll open, so open this up. It looks like we've got a little tab here to rem we can remove to get the power. Remove isolation tab to activate. So I've removed the tab. How does it work? So are there any instructions on how to get this to make a sound? So I've removed the tab. Oh, there we are. There's a little button. That's pretty cool. So there's a little button on the base there which you can press and just makes a nice little waka waka sounds. That's pretty funky. That's a really nice um, addition uh, to the box. Uh, there's a few more items in here. Um, so we've got some World of Warcraft. It says Mega Blocks on this. Uh, I've not had Mega Blocks before. I'm assuming it's a little bit like Lego. Um, my World of Warcraft is the one thing I've never got around to playing. I, I've always had like a people know people that play it and have wanted to play it, but I've never actually got around to playing it. So it looks like it's a bit like Lego. Um, obviously uh, not Lego, it's Mega Blocks because of the branding. Um, I'm trying to think this probably goes together quite awkwardly because you've got all these ball joints and stuff to put together um, here which take a little bit of force to get them in there. Um, but as you can see, slowly building this. Um, I assume you are. You've got, and then you've got all these elbow joints, which I'm trying to think how these go together. The arm, yeah, I think the arms go onto the ball joints and then the elbow joints go onto the arm. If I'm doing this correctly, I may, be, may even have these arms the wrong way around, um, possibly. I'm not entirely sure how these fit onto the actual. So it looks like there's a multitude of different ones we can get. But looking at this, the arms there, this should just slot down onto the onto here somehow. So I'm assuming maybe it has to break part of the the kind of seal that's on there in order to get it down on down and in. Which is a bit odd. There on. Oh, we have a little goblin head to go on there. There's also a spanner. I don't know what the spanner is for. We have a little hammer to go here. If I can get this on. And then we can put this on a base, I think. So there's a nice little red base. There. I, I, I'm not going to put it on the base because I'm wasting too much time. But that's pretty funky. Nice little uh, World of Warcraft item there. Then we have a Doctor Who uh, Time Squad Cyberman. That's pretty funky. So I'm assuming Time Squad just means time traveling uh, items. I don't remember a Time Squad as such. Um, but that's pretty funky. I'm going to leave that in the uh, packaging because I think you can see that reasonably easily from what's in there. And then our last item in this box is another Doctor Who item. We have a, a Weeping Angel uh, flesh and stone, that's pretty cool. So, 
There's a kind of ba nice base it sits in there. I'll see if I can pull this out a little bit more. It's tape shut. There we go. Ah, uh, there's more tape. I just want to try and pull this out of the packaging to have a look at, closer look at it. Without breaking it. There we go. That's a, it's quite a solid um, build. Um, it feels almost slightly uh, ceramic. But that's a really nice uh, addition here. It's, uh, you don't tend to get too many kind of nice little fragile things like this. So that's a really nice addition uh, to the box. I'm gonna put that back in the uh, packaging here just to keep it safe. So we kind of got what? Five, five items if, uh, including the t-shirt in this box. Um, I think the box costs around about 15, 16 pounds, um, around about there. Uh, we're not missing anything, which is really nice. So you've got your usual um, kind of book of all the stuff we've got. Weeping Angels is on that side, and then all the other items on this side. Looks like there was a range of Time Squad figures we could have got um, there. Obviously, we got the uh, Cyberman. Um, so that's a really nice box, um, considering um, price range uh, is cheaper than the other boxes. So I think that's about right. Um, especially, I'm uh, loving this uh, Pac Man keyring. Uh, for a little extra sound effects. Um, but yeah, that's it for this. Um, please do comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this box was. Um, was it the kind of keyring like me or was it some of the Doctor Who items? Um, please do like the video as well if you enjoyed it and please do hit that subscribe button if you want to see more unboxing videos. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.